What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. How are all of you tonight? Well, for me, it's tonight. I am on the East Coast, so it is kind of late, but got a late start. Worked third shift last night. You know, you know how it is. Um, work all night, sleep all day. <laughs> I really got to stop working third shift, man. It's taking a toll on me, for real. So, Dad, what's up, buddy? What's up? Vaping Buckeye, what's going on, man? How's it going? Trent, what's up, buddy? What's up? Zesty Vapes in the house. What up, dude? Uh, Jasmine, what's up, man? Matt Williams, what's up? Wallace, what's up, buddy? Amanda, hey, Amanda, how's it going? Man, I am loving this setup. I, I, I don't know what more to say about it, like... I am so happy I got it in it. If you guys missed it, it's the... What the hell is it called? <laughs> Damn it, I can't even think. I'm all, like, thrown off guard and everything. It's the XX SX Mini Q Mini, okay? I wanted to get something a little bit more well-built, and so I, I ended up picking this one out. And it was, it was between a couple different mods, which I'm going to get back to in a minute, but the power of this thing, it, like... Literally, literally, you press the button, it fires, but, like, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, almost like a, a cleaner power output, okay? Like, even batteries last longer in this thing. It's crazy. But, like, it's a different vaping experience. It's, like, even all the way through. It seems like, you know, when you go from something like the Smock Pro color to this, it just, like, you can tell the difference in the vaping experience. And, say, for example, normally I vape, like, 120 on this. I'll be 90 watts on this. It's crazy. Like, how is that possible? Like, I had to actually drop down on my watts for this device. So, yeah. Like, this mod topped with the uh, Dead Rabbit. It's been a killer combination. And just look how freaking awesome that looks. Like, to me, that that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I mean, it doesn't have, like, all the stab wood and stuff. But, like, for, like, kind of like a, you know, a low-key but high-quality design, like... It's nice, man. I gotta re-drip though real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, Eddie. Eddie's from Scotland. What's up, buddy? Man, I'm worldwide. How cool is that thing, man? That is awesome. From the st smallest state in the United States to worldwide. How cool. Yeah. So, like, when I've been dripping on this thing, though, I've just been, like, you know, kind of dripping up top like that. And it seems to do pretty well. You can pretty much just, like, dump, like, so much in there, and it won't, like... It'll still vape. It's awesome. The airflow is so high up. Works perfect. Uh, Trent says, uh, vaped 400... Really? 430 mils of your grape crust soda, and I'm still vaping it as I'm watching? One of my favorite recipes from you. Wow. I think you like that recipe more than I do. Like, I like that recipe, but, like, something about it, just because it's, uh... It has that cooling effect to it. Like, uh, I can't vape it all the time, but I do like it once in a while as a treat. So, I'm glad you're enjoying it, though. That That's amazing. It's me, dudes, from Canada. Wow. That's awesome. Why, why doesn't everybody put where they're from in the chat just so I can get an idea? That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, so... Uh... Yeah, so I got this SX Mini, and, like, lately, I've been, like, I want a good uh, squonk mod, right? So, uh, I've been looking around at a whole bunch of different squonk mods, and what I have currently is this bad boy right here. Well, I wouldn't call it a bad boy, actually. I think it, it's kind of a crappy squonk. But, you know, it, it's kind of like a let's get you into squonking. I mean, with this setup, it's not too bad, but... Basically, it's the E-Leaf uh, Pico Squeeze, okay? It literally costs, like, 20 and 25 bucks or something to get this thing. And if you want to, like, get started in squonking, I mean, it's a really cheap and expensive way to do it. Um, but the RDA that comes with it, it kind of sucks. But I had the Hadley, so I ended up putting the Hadley and the squonk pin in it. And since it only runs one coil, and this can only put out 50 watts when the battery is fully charged. It seems to do pretty good with one coil and give me a pretty well vape. But I want something that can give me more power and give me a quality vape experience. 
So what I was thinking is, there's a couple different squonk mods I want, but like I really want a regulated one because I know in the regulated one I have the option to get more power, and there are a few regulated ones coming out and a few that are out. Now my only confu uh, my only thing that I'm confused about is 75 watts going to be enough for me because one of them is a DNA 75 and that only goes for 75 watts. So I'm concerned that that one might not be enough power for me, but it is one that I really wanted, and that's the Therion BF75C Squonk Mod. Now, the Therions, they're beautiful, and I really do want one like to like match up with this thing. But I'm worried that it being 75 watts might not working out. But then again, you can always build like for that wattage like I've learned that like as long as you have the right build the right RDA it should be fine but you know kind of dishing out dishing out the money for a DNA mod especially like one of those like you're gonna kind of want to make sure you can use it with whatever you throw at it and then I was thinking if I got a theory on like maybe I should just get like a regular theory on that can go to like 166 like the DNA one I think they have a DNA 166 version of it and that way I have all the wattage I want, but it's, then it's not a squonker, and then it defeats the whole purpose of me getting a squonk bond. So, yeah. I, I pretty much want something for in the car, so I can vape without, you know, having to drip and drive and all that. I don't know. I, I guess I guess we're looking for a too much in a squonk bond. I don't know. But there are a whole bunch of companies coming out with one. Um, You know, Tony, Tony B, is that his name? You know, Tony the Squonk guy, okay? The guy who makes the Pulse RDA, that guy. Vapor Trail guy. Yeah, that's him. Anyways, he's he's coming out with a cool Squonk mod that's interesting, but that's mechanical. But And there's, like, companies like E-Leaf. I think it's E-Leaf or I, no, iJoy. iJoy is about to release a new regulated Squonk mod. I don't know how many watts it is, but that's coming out very soon. So a lot of new Squonks are coming out this month, so I'm going to kind of keep my eye out. Uh, Brian says, I've had problems with my Lost Vape Theory on Squawk. Now, was that the first version, or is that the new 75C version? That's the question, because the first version, I know they had problems with it leaking at the 510 connector, but then the second version, they supposedly fixed that, but I don't know. Um, hey, Godly Vapes, what's up? Oh. Dad, that's you. Why are you hiding under a different name? You're trying to trick me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, da, 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 da. The drone from Lost Vape is DNA 166 Squonk. Yeah, but the drone, they stopped selling it. See, that sucks, man. It would be perfect. But, see, the drone is cool, too. But, like, I want, like, the shape and the look of the Therion. You know what I mean? But I guess you can't get one without the other because you need the battery power to get a DNA board up to that high wattage. So, like, you're going to lose out somewhere there, and I need to make a decision. Like, So maybe I should, like, you know, start trying to build for 75 watts and see if I can, like, handle it and like it. But then again, you also don't want to be using a mod that you're maxed out on the wattage all the time because you're going to be blown through batteries like no tomorrow, you know? Uh, Trent says, John, did you get to try out Cap Silverline yet? I have not. I have not. Uh, I'm probably going to be placing a DIY order for Bull City within the next couple of weeks. And, uh, I don't know if Bull City got him yet, but I am definitely want to get the Silverline from Capella. And I want to get the new, uh, Flavor Art Juicy Strawberry. Those are definitely some of the flavors I want to get. I do have a list going on. That's what I've been doing lately. When I think of a flavor that I really want or something interesting that comes out, I make a list of it. And then usually I try to get everything within like one or two orders so you get the free shipping and you don't spend all that money like on shipping. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Gotta run the fan in the car. Sometimes can't see because the, <laughs> the vapor. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that. Oh, wow. Alright, so, Brian, it's the 75C. Ooh. So, what's going on with it? It just kills batteries? 
but he loves the way it looks and feels. Now, what kind of batteries are you using? Because that's another exciting thing I got. Check it out, guys. I got my very first pair of VTC 5As. Yeah. Dude, so I, I charged these and I tried them in the squawk mod. I tried it in a mechanical mod. And let me tell you, dude, like, I knew it when I had the HG2s from LG, the brown ones. That, like, batteries do make a difference. But let me tell you, these ones, oh, my God. It, it's, like, night and day. Even compared to the LGs, these things, like, man, they hit hard. Okay, especially in mechanical mods. Mods. These things are amazing. Like, if you guys are on the fence or ever like, oh yeah, I don't really care about batteries and all that and stuff like that, dude, get yourself some VTC 5As and then try to think that again. You won't. Let me tell you, these things are amazing. Very strong. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so. I wanted to mix something up today. Oh wait, first I need to see where everybody's from. I'm gonna see where everybody's from first. Let's see. All right, so. Uh, Eddie's from Scotland, we got that one. Uh, it's me dudes from Canada. Uh, Jasmine's from Austin, Texas. Indy's Finest is from Indiana. Matt Williams is from Virginia. Zulu is from France, wow, that's awesome. North Carolina from Thad. Clearwaters, Florida from Brian. That's awesome, dude. I love Florida. Can't wait to go back there. Um, Hawaii. Trent's in Hawaii. That's cool. Uh, Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. Vaping Buckass from Ohio. Phoenix, Arizona. Wallace. Train Sonic, Rhode Island represent. What up, dude? <laughs> California, Aaron. Toronto, Canada, and Hall. That's awesome. Uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida. Man, I love Florida. Oh, wow. Florida, this thing. Maybe I did drip too much. Oh, well. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I think I got him. I think I got him. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, we got more. James Rivera is from Chicago. What up, dude? Careful in there. Chicago's, Chicago's some, you know, hard area to live in from what I heard. Uh, New Zealand, David, Rome, Rome, New York. Oh, that's cool. Sweden. Wow. Oh my god, dude, I haven't realized that, like, you know, so many different places. I should look at my analytics and, like, look at where everybody's from. That's crazy. I don't know, to me, that's cool. Like, you can stream from your room worldwide, like, you know, back ten years ago, when, even when the internet first started, like... It was just like, you know, we never really had that power before. Like, we're almost like our own TV stations and stuff now. Like, you literally can have the reach to, like, anybody in the world. And to me, that's it's just mind-boggling. I know it's, like, nothing new, but, you know. Anyone else from Africa? No, man. Not from Africa. I was going to put a joke in there, but then I realized it wasn't really funny. <laughs> no. I, but, Zesty, are you even from Africa? Like, I, I know you're black, but, like, you're... I thought you were American. I don't know. Uh, that grew up in Chicago. Wow. Cool, man. You must be hard. Just kidding. Uh, Brian said, I lived in Warwick, Rhode Island for two years. Love Providence. 27 years. Well, my bad. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, Warwick's alright. I mean, if I honestly had to pick a place in Rhode Island that I would want to live, it would probably be like, you know, Middletown or Newport or like, uh, or it's something the opposite from the ocean and probably like the boonies like, uh, you know, Pasco or Barville or something like that. Somewhere where it's like not too like uh, densely populated. There's a lot of densely populated like places in Rhode Island and it's just, you know, craziness. It's definitely the island of a road, I'll tell you that much. 
Zesty Vape said, South African, son. <laughs> I live in a hut with my, with Wi-Fi. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit, you ain't got Wi-Fi. You got, you, you got like a cup and string. That's your telecommunications. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Amanda Pierce, North Carolina. Yeah, the Carolinas. The, uh, the, I can't speak. The Carolinas are pretty cool, from what I heard. I, I got some family in. I think. Uh, I think South Carolina. I mean, you know. I just think when I hear Carolina, I think just the Carolinas. I don't know. Never been though. Never been. But I heard it's pretty cool, except for in the winter. In the winter, I hear nobody knows how to drive in the winter. I mean, every time there's, like, snow in there, you, you hear about, like, these pileups on the highway. Isn't that, like, something in the Carolinas? Uh, Randall says... Well, sorry to say, John, from a truck driver, I hate Rhode Island. No, I'm with you there, buddy. I, I honestly don't like Rhode Island at all. I mean, if it wasn't for my family living here and my ties in Rhode Island, I mean... Which are getting smaller and smaller all the time because, you know, family passes away and stuff like that. I mean, I wouldn't live in Rhode Island by choice. If anything, if I were to live nearby in New England, I'd probably move to Massachusetts. Just because, like, everything in Rhode Island is is so expensive and so ridiculous. Like, for example, healthcare. Like, healthcare is way more expensive in Rhode Island than it is in Massachusetts. They have better healthcare in Mass. Like... They have, bit, like, they pay better in mass. Like, everything in Rhode Island is just, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. And the roads. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started with the roads. It's on my DNA. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I got to drink some Red Bull and wake the hell up. I should do, like, a morning wake-up stream for vaping. And just, like, talk about current world events and vape and drink Red Bull. Because I don't really drink coffee. I'll drink Red Bull. We can have a morning show. Because there aren't many of those. I'm just kidding. That would never happen with me. Because, knowing me, I cannot wake up in the morning. <laughs> I'd be like, no, screw that. Work third shift. Not happening. John Seeley, I'm a truck driver, and it's okay. Wow. Man, I always thought about that, becoming a truck driver. I mean, I, I could imagine I like that. I like driving, so it's not something I mind, but I was always worried because, like, trucks are so big. And I don't know, to me it seems like a whole other animal. Which it probably is. I mean, they probably involve a lot of skill in driving a truck, but, you know. Oh, Zesty, yeah. That that's a very good question. I'm drinking Red Bull from a cup. Yes. I'm drinking Red Bull from a from a coffee cup because uh, basically I forgot to put my Red Bull in the fridge and I had to put ice in it. So yeah, I put it into a cup. I know it's a little bit weird. So like I, I guess I guess I'm trying to be fancy with my Red Bull drinking, acting like I'm drinking coffee. <sighs> yep. No, no. It it's just Warm Red Bull that had to be cooled down. Vaping Buckass said, do it right after your shift, JFM. Yeah, speaking of this, like, where's all the vape shows on uh, Sunday? Like, I was like, see, the reason why I'm doing a stream today, I, I was kind of just, like, winging it. I'm like, you know what, I'll probably mix something up. We'll probably talk about some flavors and all that, but I'm like... Let me do a stream because nobody's doing anything. Like, I was, like, looking for a show. Like, I don't know if you guys could tell me if there's, like, supposed to be any show going on today. But I was, like, dude, I was waiting to, like, watch somebody go live or something today. And nothing came up. And I'm just, like, waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm, like, all right, well, I, I guess I'm going to go live. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. I don't know. 
Anti-socialist says, Red Bull from a cup means more distinguished. Yes, exactly. And I raise my pinky and, you know, that means I'm all proper like. Zesty says it ruins the taste. Not really. I mean, well, I mean, ice does water it down a little bit, but I mean, it doesn't ruin it too much. I mean, Red Bull is pretty potent as it is. Especially the cranberry one, you know. Speaking of that, I really want to make a cranberry Red Bull vape. I wonder if that's possible. Still haven't tried that yet, but that's definitely on my list of things to do. Overdose vapes. Yes. Okay, that sounds familiar. But, like, I was I was keeping an eye for his stream. Because, like, usually I freaking stream over him all the time. Not on purpose. And that's what I was looking for. Because I was trying to, like, be, like, considerate and, like, look to see if anybody else was streaming. Nobody was streaming. So I'm like, alright, screw it. I'll just stream. We've been waiting to watch you. <laughs> wow. My bad. Well, guys, gotta go for a bit. Back in a few. Alright, Amanda. Uh, Tim McLaughlin says, Flavor Chai, 1%, French Vanilla Cream, 2%, TFA Vanilla Custard, 5%, TFA Vanilla Bean Ice Cream, 4%. It's a lot of creams. That might be good. I don't know. It's very creamy. It sounds good. What the hell is this noise? Damn it, Alibaba. Go away. Stop recommending stuff. Download one app and it just never stops bugging you. It's me, dude. JFM, you're the top dog in mixing. Love the, love the content. I don't think I'm the top dog, but I appreciate the compliment. Thank you. Now, I, I would say I'm David, and DIY dies Goliath, and I'm just like, down here looking up and be like, hello, DIY or die? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, no. We all have our place in this community. Much love to everybody. D. Millen! D. Millen, what's up? What's up? Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. I do, I may do an eggnog. Man, if you do an eggnog, you got to use Flavora. I'm not kidding. To me, that is definitely the best eggnog out there. Hands down. Hands down. Uh, Godly Babes Now, which is bad, asked me, did you check out my videos? Yes, I did see some of your videos. Um... Um, alright, I, how do I say this? Alright, if you want to get onto, like, a Zoom chat with me and talk about making videos and, like, stuff like that, like, basically when you're making videos on YouTube or making any kind of uh, videos, there are, like, certain uh, fundamentals to making videos, right? So, say, for example, when you see this live stream right here, and I know this has nothing to do with DIY, but I want to help that out a little bit so this channel does good. Um, there's some fundamentals to making videos, okay? There's stuff like uh, rule of third, co like composition, like audio, video, stuff like that to do with making videos, right? For example, like, see how my uh, screen is shot. See how it's, like, kind of, like, level and everything. That That's one thing. Everything is fully in the screen, like... I'm not shooting with a camera, like, that's going up and down, and it's, like, you know, the full screen is on. There's no black bars anywhere. But not only that, but there's also tons of light pointed at me and lighting up the whole scene in the background and everything. And that's how you get, like, the camera to, like, you know, make everything clear and everything, and it's not dark and, like, pixelated or... It has a good picture quality, okay? Well, it's not the best. I mean, I could do better, but... For example, like, so there's, like, stuff like lighting, rule of thirds, composition, uh, the angle you position your camera in, and stuff like that. And I would love to, like, get onto, like, a, 
a chat or something to talk to you about it, talk to you about your audio and stuff like that, just so you have the best, uh, best opportunity to do well on YouTube, okay, because, yeah, I'll just say that. I want to help you, so let's get on a Zoom chat so we can talk about up in your production quality a little bit. Uh, that app is addictive. What are you talking about, Alibaba? <laughs> I mean, they do have some good deals, but I don't think it's addictive. <laughs> uh, yep, popped in my head out of nowhere and blurted it out. Your sugar cookie, your eggnog sugar cookie is killer, JFM. I make oh, it 120 mils at a time. Hell yeah, dude. That is one of my favorite recipes. Uh, have something interesting in the background. Yeah, like, see, that that's something you want to think of too with that. Like, when you're making videos, like, you got to take everything into consideration. Like, what's in your background, how well lit your background is. Like, I mean, I chose to have flavors in my background, but I could have done it in numerous different ways. It doesn't have to be flavors. I mean, it could be in your living room. It could be whatever. But just make sure it's, like, not too busy, not too much going on. But since I'm a DIY channel, I figured having flavors in the background seemed proper. But, I mean, I, you don't have to have all this. Like, I could have nothing in the background or just, like, a couple little things. Make sure it's, like, you know, kind of... Uh, Presentable, I guess you would say. That that's definitely a key factor in it too. That's right, Zesty. Yeah, that's true too. Make sure you <clears throat> Yeah, that's a that's a good topic too. And like we're just trying to give you tips here, uh, Dad. So like when you're making videos too, like uh Make sure you're being yourself, but you also like have a personality. Like no nobody does want to go to like a a channel and be like Hey guys, so today I got this atomizer, it's okay, like you know what I mean, like have like a little bit of personality in there, like I mean don't like you know be fake or anything, but like you know show if you're excited about something show you're excited and learn to get like Learn to treat the camera like another person and, like, learn not to be scared of the camera because some people, they, they like, lock up and freeze, like, because it can be a scary thing starting to make videos. Like, for me, it took a while to, like, even feel comfortable talking to a camera, but now I kind of just picture it like it's another person and I'm talking to a community like you guys. So, I mean, it gets easier, but just make sure to, like, you know, have fun. Just have fun with it. That's the main thing. Have fun with it. Okay, just message me when you want to do it. Yeah, sure, dude. No problem. Put a poster of DIY vapor and PJs in your background. Hell yeah, Stewie pajamas. <laughs> dude, man, I'm kind of jealous of his pajamas, though. They are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. You, you got to respect a grown man who can rock Stewie pajamas. I mean, that's the kind of dude I want to be, so, yeah, much love to him. Nick Hall, switch, switch to chat side because on live chat goes over your face on full screen. Um, hmm. I will actually look into, thank you for letting me know that, Enhall. I will definitely look into doing that next stream, but I'm going to have to mess around with some settings, probably mirror the stream. So it does that better. Because um, unfortunately the way my layout is done. I can't just do that. I'm sorry man. Yeah because if I, if I try to do that now. It's going to like totally mess up everything. Uh, Vaping Buckeye says. Great tips. Thanks man. Thank you. No I, 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 I want to see him do well. I do. He, 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 I definitely know he's passionate about vaping and mixing, and he's a good, good-hearted dude. I just want the best for him. And I, I, like, you know, I kind of, you know, helped Country Living and Gentlemen's E-Liquid when they were first starting out. Um, and, like, I, I want to see other people do well as well, especially when they can bring value to the community. Like, I want to help, I want to help lift anybody up who wants to put, put in the work and put 
out content for the community, you know. I think that's the right thing to do. Uh, it's me, dude. Just my opinion, but the live banner is distracting. Oh. Hmm. Um. All right, well, let me... I'll take that into consideration. Let me think about that, because I, at the same time, while it, it might be distracting, at the same time, I do want to put in something for, like, my patron, my patrons, so... Um... I'll turn it off for today, I guess. That's fine, but... You know what I mean? Like, um... Where is this? Uh, let's see... Live... Face... Uh, okay, there we go. Transition. All right, yeah. So I, I I turned off the live scrolling for right now, but basically I do want to have something for my patrons because they do like you know support what I do here, and it does really help. Because like for example, which is another good topic I should talk about. You know how a lot of YouTubers are talking about YouTube coming after their videos and demonetizing all of them. Well, I actually, when I went to go put this live video up, I had, like, literally a list of a whole bunch of my videos that just got demonetized. Like, it's messed up. Like, they are totally screwing everybody, and including me. So, yeah, so I definitely do want to show, like, support from them because that does help with situations like that. It's so messed up. I can't believe... I can't... I literally just noticed that, and I can't believe that happened. Like, literally, like, 12 of my videos just got, like taken down not taken down but like demonetized sucks uh desiree said try shooting a video and i was so monotone was one of the most uncomfortable things i've ever done i know i i told i totally get it because i started from somewhere too like even when i first did live streams like I even said it when I was first doing live streams, like, my heart would start pounding and everything, I would start getting nervous, like, I felt like I was being put on the spot, and, like, I was in front of, like, thousands of people, which potentially you are, but, like, I, I used to get, like, really nervous, but, like, after a while, like, you get to a way where you kind of don't think about it, you don't think about the camera being, like, this crazy thing, you just kind of feel like you're talking to friends, and you're talking about something that you're passionate about. But it does take, there is an adjustment period where you do have to get used to a camera being in your face. I mean, if you want to make it easier on yourself, what you could do is you could make like a little picture of a person's face, maybe somebody you like, I don't know, and just put a little hole in it and like kind of put it on your camera. I mean, I don't do that personally, but I mean, it, it might make it easier to like act like you're talking to a face. I don't know. Just an idea. Train Sonic says bikinis equal views. Yes, that may be true, but JFM in a bikini equals uh, unsubscribe. <laughs> oh man, imagine that. No, don't imagine that. That's disgusting. I would never wear a bikini. Oh God, why are you saying this? Anti-socialist description spelt wrong. Should be description. I know. I know. I just haven't fixed it yet. Thank you. Uh, Zesty pointed that out the other time. I just haven't gotten to the settings and fixed that yet. Sorry about that. Uh, Desiree Parker. That's cute. That's not cute. That's horrible. <laughs> let's let's not talk about JFM in a bikini. Train Sonic. Is Phenom coming on a live stream? You keep asking, Train. Of course he is. We've talked. Man. Oh, God. Yes, he's coming on a live stream. We've talked. It's going to be happening. We have it planned for next Sunday. So as long as he still can come on and all that, he should be on next Sunday. That's the plan. Speaking of that, where is where is John Phenom? Usually, usually he stops in. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, he should be on next Sunday. I definitely am looking forward to that. Antisocialist told you. Just act like you're looking at naked people. You'll loosen up. Um. 
I don't know about that. If I was looking at naked people, I'd kind of feel uncomfortable. I'd be like, why are all of you guys naked? Like, what the hell? <laughs> it would be like, what the hell did I just walk into? <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. The vaping Buckeye I said, my wife sights in a while. I Wait, what? My wife sights in while I record. Oh, sits in. Oh, sits. All right, sits in while I record. It helps me make a great bloopers reel. Oh, okay. I swear that says sites, though. Maybe I'm just illiterate. Anyways, yeah, that actually might work. I never thought of that. Then again, get my wife to sit on anything vape-related for that long might be an issue. I don't know. Maybe I should try it. Then again, you know what? No, I don't like it because I have had my uh, wife sit in the other room and, like, she listened to me record and she'll, like, make fun of, like, different words I say or whatever. Just me being me. And, yeah, you know how women can be. So, yeah, I don't know if that would work out too well. Oh, she was talking about putting the face on again. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god. No. No. Desi, no. <laughs> I like being alone while recording. Yeah, I know, until your brother walks in, right? Well, gotta love that when your when your brother photo bombs you. Does live streams being like, What's going on, man? What's going on? <laughs> oh jeez. Good stuff. Alright, so we should mix something. And the vaping buckeye's in here. I mean you a moderator. Why don't you share that batter that cake batter recipe you wanted me to make? Cause I kinda wanna make something different and I wanna try somebody else's recipe. So if you wanna share that uh uh vaping buckeye, if you wanna share that batter recipe, the one that you asked me to make last week, share it in the chat, share a link to the recipe and I'll make it up and we'll try it out. Cool, cool. Oh man, that's good. What else should I vape on right now? Maybe blueberry something. Yeah. Let me get some of that blueberry something from Adore E-Liquid. So, another thing guys. Dawn from Adore E-Liquid. She sent me a lot of her concentrates to try out because like I tried like when I did that video on one shots, like I was like so intrigued because a lot of them were like so good. It was amazing. So I was like, I'm gonna place an order, and she's like, "Don't place an order, you fool! I'll send you some." I'm like, all right, if you really want to. Anyway, so basically, uh, I fell in love with blueberry something. Man, let me tell you, it it is something. All right, this blueberry something is amazing. It reminds me of my uh, Catalyst clone, but it's just so good. So if you guys haven't tried this yet, dude, like try some. Try the concentrates. They're cheap. You pick them up. You can make so much e liquid out of it. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna drip some right now. I just had to put put that out there. Like I've been loving it. Uh, let's see. Okay, got it. Um, is Travis here? Am I, like, streaming over him again? I don't know, I hope not. I was really trying not to do that this week. Right, let's drip some of this. The only thing I hate about these big bottles, though, is they really suck for dripping. Although you do kind of look like a boss having a huge bottle and dripping like this.
All right. Sorry. I just freshly wicked it, so it took a minute. Okay, here we go. Let's get her now. Oh yeah, that's the ticket right there. Blueberry something, people. Check that shit out. Seriously, it's like I don't I don't even know what the flavor profile is supposed to be, but it's like kind of like a it's kind of like a blueberry pie. Let's check this out real quick. Adore e liquid. I'm gonna share my screen. Desktop right. Transition. Boom. Okay. So yes, I am over 18. All right. So blueberry something right here. Blueberry something is picture a bowl of fresh picked ripe blueberries mixed with a bake of fresh baked vanilla cookie crumble and drizzled with rich vanilla pudding. Now that would be something. Well, that is blueberry something, people. And let me tell you, it's amaze balls. It's amaze balls for sure. All right, so let's go to this recipe now. Trent says, gotta go. Just got called into work. Oh, shit, man. I'm sorry. Sucks, buddy. Well, you always catch the replay. And if not, we'll see you next time, buddy. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, let's go check out this recipe now. Alright, so I'm going to share the desktop again. I should have just kind of stayed there, but here we go. Alright, so this is the Vaping Buckeye. Awesome dude. Here is his recipe. Uh, cake batter from Capella, 2%. Marshmallow from TFA at 2%. Strawberry ripe at 4%. Sweet cream from Capella. Oh, I really like that sweet cream, by the way. Uh, it's now 1%. Uh, sweet strawberry from Capella, it's now 3%. Vanilla bean ice cream from TFA, 4%. And vanilla cream from Capella at 2%. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm glad you didn't go like totally like really high on that cake batter either because that cake batter can get out of control real quick. But it sounds like a good recipe, my man. Oh, but there's no sweetener. There's no sweetener. Everybody likes it though, from what it looks like. Oh, here we go. Add 0.5 to 1% of sweetener, whichever you prefer. Cap Super Sweet works best. There it is. There it is. Okay, that's my man right there. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's uh, let's make this thing, man. Let's do this. Live face transition. I'm still getting used to this OBS Studio. Anyways, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna make it, and I think I'm gonna use super sweet, cause we gotta have that sweet in there. Uh, so vape says blueberry pudding with a hint of cookie. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I know, I just didn't know the profile off the top of my head. All I know is it tastes like blueberry goodness, okay? Blueberry goodness. I mean, I can tell you, it's kind of, it, to me, I don't really get cookie. To me, it kind of tastes like almost like a, a blueberry pie pudding. That's what it tastes like to me. That makes sense. But it's good. It's good. I don't get cookie. I get more like a pie crust. But it's all good. It's all good. It's just as good. <laughs> Zesty vapes, diabetes. <laughs> Wait, how does that commercial go again? I remember there was like a joke for the longest time. Diabetes. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, though. I forgot. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, kick better overpowers any higher than that. Yeah, totally, dude. Totally. I haven't tried any of it, John. I want to, though. You haven't tried any Adore E liquid? Oh, all right. Seriously, uh, one of my favorite ones. Sinful Apple is definitely one of my favorite ones. Uh, Casa de Leche is one of my favorite ones. Blueberry something is probably one of my favorites. Probably, definitely, on top of the favorites. And then there's also Lemon Ecstasy, which is like a lemon meringue pie, which is really good. Um, I'm still trying some of them. Uh, the strawberry submission is an excellent strawberry, but it's not my preferred, um, 
it's not my preferred way to uh, vape a strawberry. Like, they're like different ways of having strawberry and like her strawberry seems like it's kind of a uh, more on the floral end of strawberries which just not my cup of tea but it's not bad it's a really good vape and it's an all-day vape for sure it's just not like i guess i'm picky when it comes to strawberries but yeah she has a lot of good ones the sinful apple roll is amazing amazing all right so let's get these uh ingredients together all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna show the recipe and i'm gonna put on some music and i'm gonna get the Ingredients and I will mix this bad boy up and try it. Okay, thank you for the wait. All right, so basically what we're gonna have to do, okay. All right, you can hear me, okay. I'm having trouble hearing myself for a minute. All right. So basically right now, my Norpro mixer is still in my car. So is my nicotine. So we're gonna make this without nicotine and we're gonna hand mix it, old school style. Um, yeah. Because I brought a lot of stuff to work with me because I wanted to, like, you know, try to make some different uh, stuff with Liquid Barn because I want to come out with some cool recipes for my review that's coming up. By the way, if you guys didn't know, I have a review coming up with the Liquid Barn Starter Kit and also a giveaway with the Liquid Barn Starter Kit. So that's exciting. But let's mix this up. So basically we have the straw batter from the Vaping Bucket. Right, let me change the camera up real quick. Quickity. Alright, let's get everything out of the way. Yeah, I still haven't refilled my strawberry ripe. I have to use the big gun for here. Gotta love that. Alright, here we go. 
Sorry, I didn't. I didn't know that music was so appalling. Uh, I'll try to change the music up for next stream or something. I have been using it for a while. Okay, let's transition to the live scale. Let's see if I can put this better so it looks okay. That's a little bit better. Okay, transition. Boom. Okay, cool. All right, so. The first ingredient we have today is cake batter from Capella. And cake batter from Capella is in at 2% or 1.02 grams. If I turn on the scale, that'd be good. 1.20. Yeah, today we're using a unicorn bottle. This is pretty cool, right? Actually, it's a chubby gorilla, if you want to be exact. I love these bottles, though. Definitely the best bottles to drip with, in my opinion. But, yeah, I, I got myself some of these bottles just so, like, uh... No, there we go. There's enough. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I got myself these bottles just so, like, I have some to drip with because I'm always dripping and everything. And just seem like a good bo good bottles to transfer, like, my bigger batches into. Because, like, glass bottles are great for when you're developing recipes and all that. But they suck when you have to drip in an RDA with, so... You know, you guys already know the struggle, most likely. All right, so next up is TFA Marshmallow from TFA. It's in at 2% or 1.20 grams. Okay, boom. Marshmallows in. Let's get the super sweet in now. I'm going to put it in here at 1%. So that's going to be 0.60 grams. Oh shit. This is for a 60 mil. Fuck. Alright, we got to start over. Damn it. I was wondering why that was so high. I wasn't thinking. Alright, let's grab a bottle. See, people can make mistakes, even on live streams. Oh, hey, Slushy, no, I, I don't take it personally at all. Like, I've actually been using that song for a while and kind of been thinking about putting something different on there for music. All right, so let me adapt this recipe real quick. I just made myself look like an ass on live stream because I didn't get the rat milliliters. I guess anybody can make the mistake, so. All right, so adapt this. We're gonna do 30 mils. Do actually we're doing zero milligrams. Cause we don't have that. Okay. Save. Damn it. You're gonna make me do it again because I wasn't logged in. Yes, you are. Adapt this. 30 mils. Zero milligrams. Save. Yeah, I know. I just committed a crime. Oh, it's SD. I'll see you later, buddy. Get some sleep. Have a good night, buddy. All right, so we're good to go now. Okay. Sorry for looking like an amateur right there. My bad. All right, so first ingredient, cake batter. And at 2%. 0.62 grams. Is that... Okay, that is right. All right. Now I'm second guessing myself. Oh, something else awesome that I picked up, and I know a lot of people won't think it's too cool, but first DIY, and considering we all vape and like love batteries as it is, I'm pretty sure some of you would think this is cool. But if you guys know, like, between scales and Norpro mixers and stuff like that to take all these batteries that, like, uh, you know, die on us and we're always having to replace new batteries, I'm like, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm going to buy some rechargeable batteries. So I just picked up a whole bunch of these, like, I think it's Energizer, like, the rechargeable ones. So, like, I constantly have, like, batteries I can recharge for my Norpro mixer in this scale, for example. So 
I thought that was really cool. So if you guys like are looking for a solution for that, definitely like look into it. I think it's a good deal. It'll definitely I think it'll save money in the long long run. Alright, so marshmallows in at two percent or point six three grams. Marshmallows in. All right, so let's do the super sweet next. Again, I'm doing this at one percent, so we're gonna need 0 0.30 grams. There we go. Super sweet's in. I haven't used cake batter in a while. It smells really good. I'm really, definitely looking forward to vaping this. All right, so next up is, ooh, gotta do the ripe strawberry first. Ripe strawberry, okay, pull out the big guns. I'm actually like already like a quarter of the way gone of this. Like I use a lot of ripe, for real. All right, so ripe strawberries and at 4% or 1.25. Okay, there we go. Ripe them. Oh, such a wonderful experience smelling that bottle every time. Okay, next up is sweet cream from Capella. Sweet cream from Capella is in at 1%. 0.30 grams. Okay, there we go. Mm, sweet cream. Oh. All right, sweet cream's in. Next up is sweet strawberry from Capella. It's in at one percent. No, sorry, sweet cream, sweet strawberry from Capella is in at three percent, or point nine zero grams. Just that sweet cream and the strawberries, man. Oh, it smells so good. So good. I mean, I know strawberries done a lot, but it's good. It's good stuff, man. Just can't get sick of it. All right, so vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, you know what? I want to make a really good blueberry vape soon. All right, anyways, uh, vanilla bean ice cream is at 4% of 1.27. There we go. Vanilla bean ice cream's in. Last but not least, vanilla whipped cream from Capella. It's in at 2% of 0 0.60 grams. Alright, perfect. Alright, so now I'm just going to fill this up with VG and then I'm going to shake it and we'll talk about it. Alright, so let me transition to the other camera. Transition. We're not doing nicotine right now because it's not with me. So this will just have to be like this for now. It's all good. Just get a general idea of how it tastes. Gonna leave a little bit of room to shake. Yeah, it looks good. And then that way I can throw some nicotine in there. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so now I gotta go all old school and shake this manually. Ugh, ugh. Miss my Norpro. Miss my Norpro. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all feel the pain. Uh, Cincinnati King says, Can you get flavors in your country where you are from? Russia? Huh? It's me, dude. I'm vaping on Zelios Aspire. Just got off six. Wanted to get a good sub set up to remove a battery. Any suggestions? Um, really, if you want something that's gonna like last for a while and then like give you some time to grow, I would look at like one of the aliens or pro colors from Smock. 
because at least if your vaping style changes, you have the watts to grow. And you won't have to keep buying mods. But either way, well, either way, it doesn't have to be a smock mod. It can be anything. Anything that has higher watts, pretty much. Um, has anyone made their own sweetener? No, I haven't. I figured why go through all that when you can just get it already done. I mean, with the amount of sweetener you actually use in a recipe, it's just, to me, it just seems a lot safer that way. But it's just what I'm used to. I was actually thinking about doing it once, and then I found out one of the compounds in the, the sucralose powders I had wasn't actually safe to vape. I forgot what it was. I don't know if it was like aspartame or it was one of the extra ingredients in it. And luckily, I didn't do it because there like there are some YouTube videos of people actually doing it, and it's not actually good for you to vape. But then again, people argue that vaping sweetener in general isn't really good to vape. So I mean, I just I just buy it already done. Less of a pain in the ass, in my opinion. All right, I think we're pretty mixed up here. I mean, it's no Norpro, but... Uh, okay, let's see. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. I like Fruity Flakes, but I had, I had crunchy cereal to help with the lemon. Yeah, that sounds good. JFM is good at cereals. Yeah, I love cereals, man. It's one of my favorites. One of my faves. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, definitely. If you want to, like, find a good cereal recipe, I have, like, tons of them on my ELR. And some I haven't even released yet. I, I think... I I don't know. I've made a lot of cereals. I don't want to, like, get back into it necessarily. But you know what? Maybe I will. I don't know. Alright. This seems like it's, uh, mixed up enough. Okay, well. Let me vape this dry. And we'll try it out. It smells delicious, Vaping Buckeye. It does. It does. I'm really looking forward to this one. Oh, man. That blueberry something, people. Gotta try that. Antisocialist says, I use an old Kanger Subtank Mini for work. Easy to rebuild, and you can get them at Mount Baker Vapor Store, I think. Yeah, I mean... If you're like, if you've just gotten to vaping and you're just off cigarettes, um, and you want to move up from like your like regular, like, you know, kind of like a mouth hole and pen mod, or like if you're kind of looking into like progressing, I would definitely look into something like like the Alien or the Pro Cut or like just something that like is capable. It can be an IPV mod, it can really be anything, but just. Get something where it allows you to grow, like something that's over 100 watts. I would say like a two, any 200 dual 18650 regulated box mod, because that way you can put whatever you want on it. You can get a mouth to lung tank, you can get like lower powered sub ohm tanks, you can get higher power sub ohm tanks, but at least you have the power to grow. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, it'll just be buying mods left and right. I mean, some people just get into the hobbyist end and do that anyways, but I mean, at least that way you have something that'll last and you can have a lot of usage out of. Desiree says, right now my favorite tank is the Cleto 120. I have the Cleto 120. Right here. Right here, guys. Check it out. Yeah, come on. Come on. Unscrew. Yeah, I gotta clean it out too. But yeah, I have the Cleto 120 right here. It's a nice tank, excellent flavor. Um, and actually, it might be good for somebody who is looking. For, well, it's it's a little bit more powerful. But see, here's the thing: you have like the Cleto 120, and you have the what is it, the Crown 3 tank, right? Those two tanks are kind of like in the same league as in vapor production, in my opinion. And then you have things like the TFV8, TFV12, the uh, 
what do you call that new UL tank that just came out? The, uh, I don't know, but basically it's like a step up, okay? So like, that's the one thing that personally my vaping style, I didn't care for the 120 or the Crown 3 in that way because the vapor production wasn't enough from what I was used to. But it does, they both do have excellent flavor. I use I use the Dead Rabbit. It's the only tank for me. <laughs> Valerian, yes, the Valerian. There you go. Yes, yeah, so like the Valerian is kind of like in the same league as like the TFE eight, TFE twelve. Like they have like a lot more vapor production and flavor. But then you have things like the Crown three, the Cleto one twenty, which are kind of like a step down from it in terms of vapor production. The flavor is still great. And then you step down from there, and then you have like the ones that usually come with the mods that are like. A little bit even less in my opinion of sub ohm like vapor production you know so i think it depends on where you are in your vaping journey and depending on which one you should buy that's what i would tell people if i owned a vape shop tim mclaughlin says crown three is better i don't know i like like i like the flavor i love the coils like well, I don't like any pre-made coils in the terms of how expensive they are and how you have to keep, like, replacing them and all that. I definitely prefer rebuildables, but I am biased because I do build. But with that said, they did a really good job with the coils this time, and the flavor is really good on those. Like, I'm not saying they're not. But to me, I just couldn't, I couldn't vape them because they didn't put out enough vapor for me. Like, I would try to suck them and suck them and just, well, it didn't sound right. And just not enough vapor would come out for me. That's just my opinion, though. Just build the Hadley. Yeah, dude. This was an awesome combination right here. I really love that I put the Hadley on this little Pico. It did definitely make a night and day difference. Like, Check this out real quick. And then, I'll, believe me, Vaping Buckeye, I'll vape this next. But let me show you this. Like, This thing used to be, like, before I got the VTC 5As... Like, this thing would not put out enough vapor for me. But when I put the Hadley on it, it has one coil. So it only has to heat one coil instead of two compared to the Coral RDA that came with it. And then I put in a higher power battery, the VTC5A, and it became night and day better. Like, check this out. Get the battery in there. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's give it a little squonker. Okay. Got like juice everywhere. Shouldn't have put it in my bag the way I did. Okay, here we go, guys. Ready? Cheers. Night and day difference. Like, since I only heat in one coil, and right now I have a cla uh, I have a fuse clapped in with uh, what is it? Dual gauge, thirty six wrap, single clapped in in here in the Hadley with the squonk pin in, using a VTC five A. And this outputs like 50 watts when the battery is fully charged, but it makes all the difference. It like it, it with the coral that came on this Pico squeeze, it was just too underpowered to power two coils in my opinion. Unless maybe if you did a round wire, but I wanted something a little bit more exotic than a round wire. Night and day difference. Like don't get me wrong, it's not the most vapor production in the world, but it definitely put some new life into this mod that I didn't expect it to. Uh, it's in parallel, Tim. Night and day difference in that battery, man. Those VTC 5As, let me tell you. Night and day difference. Night and day. If you guys need batteries, or you know what? From now on, if you guys buy batteries, just buy VTC 5As, man. Go online, look for a place that sells them, 
and buy them. Like, they are way more worth your money than any other batteries. And if you're looking for something with a regulated mod that you don't really need a lot of amperage, get the HG2s from LG. Between those two batteries, man, you can't go wrong. But batteries do make a hell of a difference. And, like, I kind of knew that when I was using the HG2s compared to other batteries, the brown ones. And then in my unregulated mech mods, man, these ones, oh my god. Thanks, Team Allen. Joshua Diggs, what's going on, my man? What's going on, my man? What's up, buddy? Alright, so, now we talked about that, let's just keep vaping this dry so we can try vaping Buckeyes mix. I know he's like, at the keyboard, like, come on, JFM, try it, try it. Let me tell you what you think. John Seeley said, I used a troll till I got the dead rabbit. Yeah, man. That dead rabbit is amazing. It definitely is all the hype, for sure. I uh, Train Sonic said, I love my OG troll. I never had the OG troll, but I'm telling you, man, the troll V2, I'm, I'm still going to use it. Like The troll V2, as I was trying to say in my other stream, and I was going to probably do it in a video when I actually reviewed these, because I am going to start reviewing, like, uh, vape gear on my channel, but I'm gonna do actual reviews after I've had it for a while Like I'm not gonna do a review or something like I probably will do a review on the troll v2 now Just for the fact is if I ha I've had it for a while and I can actually say like a lot of these reviews nothing against them But they had something for a week two weeks whatever and they review it But like in the long term, how does that help people people need to have long-term reviews, so uh, But the thing about the trolls which I'm still gonna use them for my uh testing because they use less cotton than the dead rabbit and testing your recipes on the dead rabbit and if you have to test the whole bunch you're gonna like saturate like so much cotton and to me I still think the troll would do better in that terms for my vaping style. Uh, it's me dude. JFM fire up another mix. I got a massive vape mail coming this week. Got Fuji apples. Any chance you can mix something with that? If you want something with Fuji apple, man, and you like apple pies, man, try my apple pie recipe. That thing is fire. Uh, Wallace says, IMR batteries got the Sony VTC5A for six fifty. dollars Oh, wow. Aren't they sold out, though? Because I think I did try them. Oh, man, I should tell you this story. Well, first of all, I think I tried to go to IMR Battery to buy the VTC 5As, and they were sold out last time I checked, but they'll probably get them back into stock. Anyways, I might be wrong. I might, might have been in another place. But it's actually a funny story how I got these batteries, and I'm not going to name any vape shops, and I'm not going to confirm if anybody writes in the vape shop because it's kind of like a back-end deal, let's just say that. Okay, apparently uh, some vape shops in general are isolating themselves to selling certain batteries if they're not labeled specifically for vaping. In other words, like uh, the Sony VTC 5As, they actually say something like they're not intended for use outside battery packs and some places are trying to protect themselves by not selling them because they don't want to be held liable or whatever. So uh, a certain vape shop in Massachusetts that I travel to... Um, I was talking to them, and I've known them for a while, and I'm like, man, I really want some VTC 5As. I don't want any of these other batteries. And they're like, they, like, literally did, like, a backroom deal. Like, they had, like, some for sale in the back room, but they wouldn't sell it out front. I guess they were waiting for people to ask for them or something. And, like, literally, that's how I got them through, like, kind of like a back backroom deal. Like, they wouldn't, like, actually sell them in their case. So it was actually pretty funny. I'm like, well... They have to be worth it if you have to do it through a backroom deal. But yeah, man, it's amazing. Is the dead rabbit actually dead? Yeah, I'm pretty sure because it was never alive in the first place. Uh, same for me. Yeah, anti-socialist. The tsunami was my first. Uh, Cincinnati King says, IMR batteries is the only place I buy my batteries. Yeah, I'm going to check them out for sure. Because I'm definitely going to want to get more of some of these uh, VTC 5As for sure. I'm going to want to like stock up on them because they are definitely definitely make all the difference in the world. Uh, 
Anti-Socialist says, I just ordered VTC6 from IMR. Yeah, I've heard about those. I wonder how they are. I don't know. Everybody talks about the VTC 5As. Uh, I'm not, like, I just want to stick with ones that, like, I've been tested and all that, and battery mooch is all for him. Like, if you want to learn anything to do with batteries, like, he knows, like, everything. That's the guy. Check out battery mooch. He has a Facebook page and all that, and he puts out charts and all that. He's, like, kind of like the mod reviewer, but for batteries. He's kind of like DJ LSB, but for batteries. Guarantee to be authentic. Battery Mooch told me to get my batteries. In. Yeah, yeah, that's actually why I started checking IMR batteries in the first place because IMR is like uh, on his recommended list, and whatever that guy says, like he won't stir you wrong. So definitely, definitely check that out. Okay, so now we're gonna drip some of this vaping buck ash straw batter. Granted, we all know that you know recipes will do good with the steep, but. I'm going to take that into account when I try this. But because there's all like the creams and everything, it definitely will benefit. But it should, pretty, it should taste pretty banging right now. But don't worry, I have that in the back of my mind. Alright, here we go guys, cheers. Wow, that's some good shit, man. That's an excellent recipe, dude. Oh, yeah. that That's a good one. That's an all-day vape right there. Now, there's one thing I might do to my preference. And this is just because the way I vape. But... Pay no mind to it because this is just me being like absolutely nitpicky to how I like to vape. But with all that said, this is an all-day vape as it is right now. But how I specifically like my recipes, I would probably drop down the cake batter maybe by half percent or a percent. Because for some reason with cake batter, it's very... Uh, it's very potent to me. It's very strong and it gives me like... Uh, it's good in moderation, but to me, a lot of it, it's just not... Well, she's not using it at too much. She's only using it at 2%, but I like a little bit less. Like, I usually keep that 1% to 1.5% when I use cake batter on the high end. And I'd probably cut it down, like, half percent to a percent. And I'd probably up that uh, sweet cream from Capella a little bit. Other than that, because that sweet cream from Capella is just amazing. It's one of my favorites for sweet cream, in my opinion. But it's an excellent recipe. It's an excellent recipe. I mean, it's an all-day vape. Even if you didn't change those things, it's still great. It's great. And exactly, DIY is so subjective. Like, like it's like I'm just I'm not saying anyway. Like, if I was to rate this recipe as it is, it would get two thumbs up for me. Like, I'm not saying like there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying like. Anything in DIY, right? You go on to ELR, you make something, but you'd be like, oh, dude, it'd be so much better if you do this. To me, to you, right? Well, that's how I, I feel about this recipe. For me, how I like to vape, because I know these flavors, I would personally like it if I dropped down that cake batter a little bit and up the sweet cream. But with that said, this is an amazing tasting recipe. I will vape this whole bottle. No word of a lie. This is good stuff. Even like right off the shake, it's like nice and smooth. It's good. You get the strawberries, you get the cream, you definitely get the cake batter. Excellent. And it's going to do awesome after a steep. Yeah, so I like it. Good job, Vaping Buckeye. Good job. Uh, Gizzard Stew? Oh, hey, what's up, Gizzard Stew? How's it going? A touch of the lemon sicily might make it pop for you. Oh. What's the best thing to mix with strawberry ripe and peach to really bring it out in the flavor? Yeah. I would say the same thing as gizzard stew. Put in a little bit of lemon in there. Speaking of speaking of peach, if you guys haven't tried it already, try pure peach from Adore E-Liquid. 
This has been by far the most authentic peach flavor I have tried. I haven't ever made a peach flavor to taste this much like real peach. Pure peach from adoreeliquid.com. Use the code PINKPUSSY. It'll save you some money. Not even kidding. That's actually true. It will. But that's a good vape. That's a good vape right there. Uh, I like that with cap sugar cookie. Gotta love cap sugar cookie. Hell yeah. Uh, and Buckeye. That's the best thing about DIY. We know our own taste. Exactly, man. Exactly. No, you did you did a bang-up job there, man. It's a good recipe. I really like it. I do. I do. Like, what when I say certain things, like, like I would tell you if I didn't like it, and I would tell you if, like, I thought you went totally the wrong way. No. I could see tons of people loving it the way it is, how it is right now. So, yeah. I could totally understand why it would be your all-day vape. But I'm just... When I, when I say things, it's just, like, how I would do it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, good title for a segment, Just Off the Shake. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's what I was thinking about doing in my videos coming up, like, the live stream videos. I'm working on creating some bumpers, and I kind of want to do, like, you know, segments like Vape News, Vape Advocacy, um... I guess just off the shake, that would be, that would be a good thing too. Just off the shake, you know, talk about things that we just made and stuff. Yeah, maybe flavor notes, different flavors, new flavors. Yeah, uh, that that's what I want to do. I want to definitely put some more structure and uh, thought into my live streams for sure. Uh, thanks, Train Todd, for dropping that link. Cincinnati King, I deserve a wrench somewhere. I would be a dedicated wrench. Okay, you can be a dedicated wrench. Here you go. Uh, where are you? Alright, you can be a dedicated wrench on my channel. Enjoy. Well, that's good stuff. Alright, guys. Well, I think that about wraps it up for today. If you guys are looking for anything for your DIY arsenal... Make sure you check out the links in the description down below. There are cool coupon codes such as JFM15, which will get you 15% off Liquid Barn, or JFM10, which will get you 10% off PillCityFlavors.com. Uh, definitely check out Adore E Liquid and their awesome one-shot concentrates. It's a great way to try some great recipes that are straightforward, especially if you're getting started in DIY. Also, um... If you want to, make sure you check out my Patreon page. If you want to help support what I do here and all the content I make, definitely check out my Patreon. Link for that is in the description below. Also, I have a website. Link is also down in the description down below. I will have stuff from recipes, the flavor notes, to just general recommended products, such as like hand mixers, anything like that. It's on the website and in the description. Also, make sure you're supporting your right to vape. Kasab.org. Damn it, Train Sonic, you are on point today. Check out Kassad.org and help fight for our right to vape. And also support our community members like Gizzard Stew. Gizzard Stew has a wonderful vaping show on Fridays, if I'm not mistaken. And usually when I watch it, yeah, Fridays, right before Fresh's show. Uh, he has a vaping show. Excellent, excellent show, excellent people. T check out Fresh O3. Check out Zesty Vapes. Check out DIY or Die. Country living. I always forget people. The vaping Buckeye. Check out the vaping Buckeye. Check out just just check out all the DIY and vape people and support them. Support our community. They're full of lovely people. Who like to try to help us stay off the stinkies. Help us vape good stuff and all that great stuff. And I'm gonna forget somebody. No offense. Much love to all of you. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, without you, I wouldn't be doing this, so thank you, and you guys have yourselves a great night, alright? Peace.